Ephesians chapter 4, verses 13 onward, it says, Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man and unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14, that we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. 15. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things. Which is the head, even what Christ. 16. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measures of every part, make it increase of the body. Unto the edifying of itself in what? In love. I want to speak a message which I try to growing up in faith. Growing up what? In faith. Every child of God should grow up in faith. Paul speaking here. He's telling the people of Ephesus. That they are no more like children. Like children drinking milk. Hallelujah. In other words, when you have a child, or you have just a child that is from womb, immediately or giving birth, you know, the child begin to walk to grow. There will be a time you need to breastfeed the child, but there will be a time you need to stop breastfeeding the, the child. Why? Because the child is what is growing. And at that point, you begin to feed the child with solid food. Now, in other words, the more the children, the more they grow, the more they engage, and also they are being exposed to the stronger things, to the things that adult should do. Praise the Lord. Nobody will remain a child forever. Is somebody hearing me? And there is no child or children that will remain at that stage forever. They grow daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Am I speaking the truth? That is the same way we grow in Christ. If you are not growing in faith, it means something is wrong with you. And any man who is not growing in faith or growing up in faith is always she or he always be a target of the devil. Praise the Lord. Because everything about Christ is all about faith. Is somebody hearing me? So now you need to weigh yourself, check yourself. Am I growing up in faith? Am I growing up in faith or I'm still like a baby? I remember that when you have become an adult, but your sense, your faith, everything is like a child. It means that your faith or your life in Christ become complicated. Is somebody hearing me? Because you cannot carry milk and give to an adult that is above 30 years. Hallelujah. Or you want to breastfeed an adult that is already 25 to 30 years. Is it possible? It is impossible. Are you with me? Even when you go to pharmacy and buy medicine, they will tell you that this one is for children. And why this one is for what? For the adults. And you cannot carry children medicine and give to the adult. It won't work. Neither you will carry a medicine for the adult to give to the children. You will kill the children. You can see how we complicate our faith sometimes. So now everything has to be stable. You need to grow according to the faith, according to the structure of the faith. 
Just the same way according to nature. But here today or in the body of Christ, you can see that there are people, they are still remain at that baby. Hallelujah. And that is why the devil will come and toast them here and there. Prophet, this one will come and speak to them. Some of them, they have people who call them, who tell them, all kind of fortune tellers, who tell them, you know, and all that they tell them is all about evil people, evil man. There is somebody doing evil. There is a witch in your family. There is an altar. There is a power of darkness. There is an evil hand. There is, all their prophecy is all about evil. Hallelujah. And I want you to know, the Bible made us understand, say we should judge every prophecy. We should judge all things. Is somebody hearing me? Especially those who are looking for money. When you look for money in your way and find money and you can't find it, it means there is a witch somewhere. Are you hearing me? There is a witch somewhere that is holding it. That is our mentality. The day money comes, ah, those witch, they are what? They are defeated. That is not the way. Praise the Lord. It is time for you to know that you should grow up in faith. It's not everything that it will tell you from the scripture for you know it already. It's not they need to tell you how to pray for you know how to pray. It's not they have to tell you again how to approach God for you know how to approach what? God. It's not they need to tell you what is happening around you. For the spirit was given to everyone. The day you received Christ, that was the day that you received the Holy Ghost. Is somebody hearing me? It can teach you all things. The Bible says in first uh, I think first uh, Corinthians is it first Corinthians or something like that he said he said the anointing which ye have received it shall abide in you what forever he's talking about the Holy Spirit he's talking about what the Holy Spirit sorry that is first John 2 27 first John 2 what? 27 he said the anointing which you have received he shall abide in you all forever. And he said, he shall teach you all things. You don't need to tell anyone to teach you the things to come. For he shall reveal all things to, to you. Hallelujah. You have it. I have it. Praise the Lord. Now, the difference between you and pastor, or you and priest, or you and in every organization, look at it. There is always a manager. Are you with me? That does not mean that the manager knows everything more than you. Are you with me? You, somebody can be a manager in a firm or in a company and yet there is one technician. If he happened to leave that company, the company will fold. Is somebody hearing me? That is how it is. The work of the priest of the pastor is to assist you. Especially when you are weak, when you are missing some direction, is to assist you. Not to rely or depend on them as a God. Like as today, people depend on prophet, prophetess. You can't live without them telling you all kind of fortune tellers. And that is why some of you people are having problems till tomorrow. Because you have not yet grown in faith. You are finding it difficult to be independent when it comes to the place of faith. I didn't say you shouldn't honor men of God. I didn't say you shouldn't hear from them. I didn't say you should not request prayer from them. I didn't say you should not ask them counsel. That is very good and you need all those things. You need them to speak into your life. You need them to pray for you. You need them to, 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 to give you counsel and also to help you if there is anything God reviewed. But that does not mean that your life should be dependent on them. I am a pastor. I'm speaking to you the truth. Growing world in the faith. That is why today everybody is running head to everywhere. 
You don't know the person what is telling you, whether what is telling you is really true or not. Whether it's of the devil, whether it's of God. You don't know. And you will believe because you are suffering, you are struggling. And that is why when you see a place where there are plenty of poverty, you see people run and look for what? Miracle and word and prophecy. Are you with me? When you go to a place where people are working, people are doing business, earning thousands upon thousands, they don't care about other things. Except they have a critical situation or conditions that may even lead them to church and obtain prayers. Are you with me? So, the Bible is encouraging us to what to grow what in faith. Know that the strength of God, the strength of Jesus is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. He is backing you up all the time. You can sleep and wake up and you will see things that way. When the Bible says in the book of Joel, it's Joel chapter 228, it says in the last days, it says thy sons and their daughters, they shall dream all dreams, they shall prophesy, and they shall see vision. He's talking about you and I. Praise the Lord. He's not talking about some particular people. That was the reason why, why we were praying. I highlighted something. I let you know that whenever they bring case to Jesus, what he normally do is to teach them faith. He never carry hand and lay on them. He teach them what? Faith. Woman, do you believe that you'll be made whole? He will drag them, drag them, drag them, drag them with conversation. He's trying to align them. In the realm of faith. That was the reason when Jesus met Martha. He said to Martha. Will Lazarus will he leave? And Martha began to reply to Jesus. And said to Jesus. The cause is already more than three days. Hallelujah. Why Jesus was waiting for Martha to say. Lazarus will rise up world again. You can see it. Now, I want to ask you a question. Does it mean Jesus cannot go straight away and touch the dead body and raise the dead body up? Hallelujah. When it comes to family matter, bloodline, foundation, sir, man, nobody will fight that battle for you. If you are relying on man of God to come and fight the battle in your home, sir, it is not true. Praise the Lord. In every home, every foundation, there is a gatekeeper. Are you with me? And a gatekeeper is the one, gatekeepers are the one that will open the door for you. Any man who is always in the spirit, if you want to come to your home, if the whole family are not united and agree, deliverance will not come. No matter how anointed you are. Are you with me? So somebody outside cannot come and take it except you. That is why when you are bringing somebody outside to come and do deliverance in your home, you too must first of all prepare. You too must first of all grow in faith. Praise the Lord. You too must first of all be in the spirit. You too must first of all confront and fight the battle. Only the man of God will come and just help you to finish the work. So you have a role to play in your life. That is why you need to grow up in faith. Because if you run to this person tomorrow, that thing come. How many people are you going to run to? That is why some people, challenges never finish in their life. One challenges on the other. When they solve this, they contact Mr. A. And he came to them. He helped them solve it. Before you know, after a little time, another challenges will come. How many people are you going to call? Praise the Lord. But if you know how to confront challenges, when you see them, you know where to go. You know what to do. 
Is somebody hearing me? When you see trouble, you know what to do. You don't need to call anyone. Because from the scripture, you have learned how to confront. That was the reason why Paul was speaking in that Ephesians chapter 6, starting from verse 10 until 18. He said, put on the whole armor that ye might able to stand against the wife of all of the devil. Put on the whole armor. Sheed yourself with the whole armor. Hallelujah. My brother, you have to grow up. Don't remain like a baby forever. Depending on someone to pray for you. Praise the Lord. I'm not telling you that pastor praying for you is wrong. Very good. That will also help you to get breakthrough. But not everything that a man of God will do for you. Are you with me? Even though you confess before the man of God. Now, I tell you one thing now. There are people who go to priest or go to pastor and confess. Sir, I'm a man of God. No matter how you confess, I will never believe you. Because I know out of 100%, what you are telling me is not up to 60%. Are you with me? I know it very well. You see? So now, I cannot give you that breakthrough, I cannot give you forgiveness. I cannot give you righteousness. It's already there. So the best thing is, go and confess to who? To the almighty God. Who is rich in mercy? Who is faithful? And who is perfect and holy God? Who is compassionate? Hallelujah. Grow in faith. Not everything you have to cry. Grow in faith so that you begin to teach others in faith. Now, the sign, there are signs that we are growing in faith. But before we go into that, now let's go to the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 4. It says, and the child Jesus, he grew up heavily and was strong and filled with wisdom and in favor of God was upon him. The favor of God was what? Upon him. He was growing up, growing in wisdom, growing in knowledge. Hallelujah. Now, see what Paul, what Paul highlighted in the book of 1 Corinthians 13, 11. He said, when I was a child, I talked like what? Like a child. And I reasoned like what? A child. But when I grew up, I put away the things of the childish. I put away childish things. When I was a child, I reasoned like a child. I talk like a child. I behave like a child. I act like a child. But when I grow up, I put those things behind. I begin to talk like adults. Praise the Lord. There are people who are still, who are still believe, behaving like a, a child tomorrow. Amen. There are evidence that we are growing up. When you look around yourself and check and examine yourself, first uh, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 13, 5, Paul said, examine yourself to see if you are in the faith. When you examine yourself, there are things and signs, the element of signs that prove and shows that you are growing up. Number one, you will see wisdom around you. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Wisdom. You will see that everything that comes your way, you don't react to them anyhow. You don't hear things and just move with it. Wisdom. Wisdom. And that's one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that's one of the evidence that you are growing up. Hallelujah. Wisdom. The Bible said the child Jesus, he grew up with what? Wisdom. In wisdom. Even Samuel, the Bible said when Samuel was growing up, he was growing up with what? Wisdom and knowledge. That's one sign. Another sign that you are growing up is tolerance. 
Say tolerant. Say tolerant. Endure. Somebody slap you. You just overlook it. Hallelujah. Somebody insulted you. You just overlook it. Somebody trying all he could to provoke you, to make you angry, just to, 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 to disgrace you. But yet, you tolerated them. That's a sign of maturity. That's a sign that you are growing in faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says, resist the devil and he shall walk, he shall flee away. Tolerance. Tolerance. There are people that can't tolerate for a moment. Any small thing they busted in anger. That is not of God. And that's a sign that you are still a baby. Praise the Lord. That's a sign that you are still a baby. Imagine you see a pastor, somebody just hurt him or whatever. He come to people here, fry him face and begin to cry. All the whole church will run away. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Tolerance. Brothers, you must learn how to tolerate. And that is a sign that you are growing. It's not everything that you loud to everyone. And people hear, when you shout, people hear that you are shouting. Any small thing, everyone around you, they hear that you are shouting. Praise the Lord. It means you are still what? A baby. And I pray that no one here is a baby. One of the signs that you are grown up is full of love. Passion. Passion. In every situation, you approach all things with love. Even those that hate you, you still showing them love. Hallelujah. Even those who gossip you around and talk against you, yet you still love them. A sign of growth in faith. A sign that you are growing up. Hallelujah. One of the signs that you are a watchman to yourself. You are independent. Just like what I was saying before. Not everything you need to ask people. You are independent. You can shoulder up res responsibility. You can handle cases. You can handle issues. You can handle trouble. That's a sign that you are growing up. When you see challenges, the only thing that you think is how to handle this. Not to be carried away. Not to be war, to be carried away. Hallelujah. First Timothy 3 4, he said, An overseer, overseer must manage his own household well and keep his children, children under control with complete dignity. Overseer means ruler, overseer means the person that is in charge, the leader. Hallelujah. It means a man who is growing up in faith, you should be overseer, both in your home. Those who are married, both in your marriage. Hallelujah. Always know maturity is very important. Another point is integrity. Integrity. Hallelujah. Always be conscious of living a reckless life. A reckless life. That is maturity. Not a life of, you know, living anyhow. You know, sometimes when I open media, I see people cutting other people, cut life, butchering others. You know, that is not a human being. Praise the Lord. That is not a human being. And these are the people also, they can even go to church. Hallelujah. They are no human being. It is not the work of human. And I tell you the truth. Anything you sow, you will repeat. He who carries sword will die what in what? In sword. He will die with sword. Praise the Lord. If you kill people, one day you'll be killed. And your own killing will be miserable. Hallelujah. There are requirements to grow up. Number one, we need to feed ourselves with the word of God. 
you need knowledge. Say knowledge. Anything you receive from the word of God, from this book of law, it empowered you. It gave birth to fruit that will help you and that will become the manifestation of the spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says faith comes by word, by hearing the Hallelujah. Second Timothy 2, 15a. He said, you must study the word of God to show thyself what? Approved unto who? Unto God. Study the word of God. And this will help you to grow up. Joshua 1, 8. He said, keep this book of law, which is the Bible, the word of God. He said, keep it and have it always on your mind on your lips meditate eat or meditate on it day and what and night so that you will be able to stand against the walls of the devil and you may remain what well prosperous whatever you do it he will prosper hallelujah so you can see the power of the word of god it is what make us to grow it's all like a fertilizer when you plant a crop, you have to nurture and uh, nourish it with fertilizer. And before you know, the crop or the plant will grow rapidly. And when it grows, at the end of the day, you begin to see the fruit. Praise the Lord. You begin to see what? The fruit. Number two, when we develop learning habits, brothers, are you willing to learn? of learning there are people you don't want to learn you depend on what you know let me tell you there are no one that knows it all what you know there are things that you don't know that other, others knows are you with me so in any form no matter how old you are always have the habit of learning the habit of learning Cultivate that habit of learning. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 25. Amplified version. It says for whoever has a teachable heart. To him more understanding will be given to him. A teachable heart. A teachable mindset. But we are living in the days that people you know. I know, I know it. I know myself. I know it. You need to learn. You need to read books. Study Bible. Listen to tapes. You know, listen to teachings. You, there are knowledge that you need. And all this knowledge will help you in many ways. Hallelujah. A teachable heart. Always be willing to learn. Psalm 119 verse 34. He say, give me, see what they will say. He say, give me understanding a teachable heart an ability to learn that I may keep your law and observe it with all my heart you can see the prayer of David a teachable heart understanding heart teach me that I may know your law I may keep your law praise the Lord number three when we assist others to grow, helping others not to scatter. Hallelujah. If you want to be great in life, you must support others. The more you support others, the more God will always bring angel to support you. Are you with me? That is the more God bring what? Angel to support you. Pray for others. If you have money, support them. You have money to support the work of God, support the work of God. Support pastors, support people around you, support families. I tell you truth, 
you will never lack support from the angel of the Lord. Are you with me? And these are the things that will make you to gain more understanding, to grow more when it comes to growing in the faith. Because when you support others, you open the doors for God and for angel of the Lord to always minister to you. People will always come around you to support you and to assist you. Praise the Lord. I sense that somebody here this week, you will earn a support from the angels. In the name of Jesus. Number four, when we follow the wise people, know how to follow those who are wise. Those who can add more into your life. Those who can increase your knowledge. Those who can bring more knowledge and more wisdom into your life. Hallelujah. In Judges chapter 7 verse 2 to 7. The Lord said to Gideon. I cannot deliver you with this large number of people. And they were 32,000 total. And he said to him. Drop them more. And it dropped to 22,000. He said no. I can't deliver you you and the people of Israel from the hand of your enemy with this large number. Now, it's not all about many people surrender with you. It's all about those who surrender with you are they men of wisdom and knowledge. People who are with you are they the kind of people adding to your life or they are reproach. Praise the Lord. Is somebody hearing me? So now moving with the company that is wise or hanging around with those that are wise will enhance your knowledge. Will increase and increase your growth. It will make you to increase in growth. Hallelujah. And it dropped to 22,000. The Bible said it still dropped to 10,000. The Lord said no. It's too big. I cannot deliver you. And Gideon dropped until... 97. 9,700. 9, 9, and he said no. And to 300. When they reached 300. He said these few numbers. Can go with you. And fight the enemy. That have large numbers. Hallelujah. Now this will make you understand. That if you have one person. Or two people that are. Well equipped with knowledge. And wisdom around you. If you are greater than somebody that has a multitude of people that surrounded him. And they are foolish. Are you with me? With these few people, you can go and fight and you will prevail. You can see it. So now it's not all. That's why Jesus, the Bible said to us, he said, many are called, but few are what? Chosen. Few are chosen. There are many who say I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. I am this. I am a prophet. I am a pastor. I am an apostle. I am evangelist. But check. Are they chosen by God? Are they chosen by God? Not what anybody can give himself a title. Anybody can hit him in his chest and say, Do you know who I am? I am so 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 person. The Bible says it's not he who commends himself that is approved. But it's he whom God will approve. Hallelujah. It's not he who commends himself that is approved. But he that God approves. Check whether the person is approved by God. Even you check whether you are approved by God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 27, 17. He said, I own sharpness word. Iron, so shall friends sharpen their own fellow friends. And Luke chapter 2, verses 46 to 47. Jesus went mission three days from. He said, When Jesus went missing three days from the parents, when they found him, he was sitting with teachers, doctors, and he was sharing and learning with them. 
He was sitting with doctors, with teachers. Now, the mother was finding him for three days. He went missing. But when they found him, he was in the midst of doctors asking them a question because he went to learn some word knowledge. Is somebody hearing me? So moving around with wise men is very important. That will grow your faith. The last um, we pray. Always make an effort to utilize every good opportunity that comes your way. Are you with me? Always make an effort to utilize every good opportunity that comes your way. You have to maximize it. Try your best in all endeavor to make sure that anywhere you find yourself that you are doing something there. Are you with me? You are learning something there. You are practicing something there. You are engaging yourself. And this will make you to grow more. Even though it's a tight corner, even though it's a place of struggle and suffering, make sure that you are learning something and you are doing something. Your effort will never be in vain in Jesus' name. I say your effort will never be in vain in the name of Jesus. Jesus, he had an opportunity to meet all, everyone around him. Do not stand like that place we read Luke chapter 2. And he meet with people, he go to everywhere just to acquire knowledge. Praise the Lord. And Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15, he said, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise people, making the most of every opportunity because the days are what? Evil. Be on your feet. The days are evil. Make every effort an opportunity and to create something and to be somebody and to do something in any way you find yourself. Hallelujah. Now we're going to pray. Say, my father, my father, help me to grow in my faith. Lord, help me to grow in my faith. Anywhere I'm not growing, Lord, I ask for your help. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. I want to grow. I want to grow. Begin to pray. My father, my father. Help begin me to, to pray. Begin to pray. In my faith. Father, Lord, help these ones. Help them to grow in their faith. Help them, Lord, stir up their faith, oh God. Let them begin to grow in their faith. You said to the disciples, He said, You don't have faith. He said, If you have faith, even as small as a mustard seed. You can say to this mountain, be that removed, and it shall be removed. Lord, we ask, O oh God, let, O oh God, let, O oh God, this one receive a help, a help, strengthen them, Lord. Teach them, O oh God, more about faith, that they may grow and grow in the faith. Zeko Libra Saint Telebrus, Rata Bragadalabos, Maragadagados, Redadadadadadis. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We have received your word. Yes, Lord. May we begin to grow in faith. Amen. May we begin to stand tall in every situation and every challenge. Amen. Anything that comes our way will be like Mount Zion. Amen. That will remain unshakable. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The kingdom of darkness will not shake us. Amen. We are unshakable. Amen. We are immovable. Amen. Lord, our faith remains strong. Amen. We have faith. Amen. A prevailing faith. Amen. A faith to conquer. Amen. A faith to have victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And a faith to defeat every kingdom that is after us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, your faith is upon us. Amen. We have faith in us. Amen. We have faith. Amen. The faith can move mountains. We have faith. Amen. 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 And that faith shall begin to give result in your life. Amen. You shall begin to see result in every ramification of your life. Amen. Because you have faith in God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Say I begin to walk by faith. I begin to walk by faith. Say I begin to walk by faith. Say I begin to move by faith. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. If you have offering, just raise it up as we're going to pray right now. Father Lord, I bless this offering seed. I ask, O oh God and Lord, every hand that is given, Father, bless them, Lord, in return. As they so, Lord, may you reward them. May this way, may you encounter financial blessings. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Begin to appreciate God. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful service. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you because of all that you have done, especially in this Wednesday encounter. We have received the word of faith. We have received an encounter tonight. You have increased our faith. Lord, we start growing up from now henceforth. We continue to soar. We continue to move from glory to glory from grace to grace, from favor to favor, from power to power, from strength to strength, from miracle to miracle. As we go, may your presence go with us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest abide with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and measure follow us all the days of our